Good day, tubes. So, how is it friggin' going today? Oh man, I was just out doing some weed whack and just got finished up. 11.55 in the mornings. And, uh, friggin' sweat. Sweat your nuts off hot. <laughs> to put her bluntly, that's what she is. So, holy jeez. But, um, did some trimming and did some uh, mowing. Mowing's not so bad. It's the trimming that freaking gets to you with, you know, with, uh, with, uh, with the humidity and the heat and the sweating and stuff, eh? But, uh... But anyways, um, I found a few more things wrong with the car. I got it fixed because we're uh, going to be going on a trip maybe sometime in the next while. And uh, kind of want these things to be fixed kind of before we leave and get in the middle of nowhere and it screws up, right? So let me show you. Okay, so this is another thing I found is this drive shaft. Uh, it's all split and cracked and stuff there you can sort of see, eh? And there's actually a hole. And you see what's darker there, that, um, let's see where I get the hand in there too. Oh. See how it's all split open and stuff, eh? And it's actually developed a hole there, so all the grease in there is starting to pee out. And, uh, geez, it wasn't a year ago I put this shaft in. So it looks like we'll be, uh, doing her again. Yay. Looking forward to that. So yeah, that and that water pump, probably should do that, and uh, this caliper I think is somewhat seizured up too, it's uh, not letting go the way it should, so I don't know, I don't know why, why it's done that, but uh, it's uh, partially seizured I guess in there, so we'll have to get another one of them too, holy frig, I don't know when we're going to put all that on though, but uh, I'm going to go see if I can get the stuff today. Okay, tubes. So I'm just gonna back up here, and you'll be able to hear like the uh, the caliper, caliper not letting go, right? And uh, so reverse here. Here, it's still grabbing there, right? Of course, now it's not gonna do it. Well, it doesn't want we drop it, drive out of the house. <laughs> but um, sort of doing it there a wee bit. Well, uh, we'll get that, I guess, too, and. Uh, Oh man, I don't know if I should do a bearing up there too or not while I got out all tore apart or... Oh, for freak's sakes, it never ends, tubes. It never, ever freaking ends. But anyways, we're going to do a little drive here and uh, we're going to go to uh, Marshall window here. Hang on. It's a bit dirty. We're going to go to the auto parts place. Of course, I won't fill in there, but uh, show you how close they are to me here. They're not too bad, so i got to close this window get the AC on. Holy frig. It's like... 18 degrees <laughs> hasn't updated yet but uh, anyways uh, I'm gonna stick you uh, stuff you in the window here and uh, here we go it's lighter it changes that is hey there we go
tubes back again. Okay, tubes, so we didn't do too good uh, today here for uh, parts. Uh, they didn't have the drive shaft, they're going to get it in. They didn't have the water pump, which I'm going to do. Because I know a lot of you guys says, don't use that rad stop stuff, it's horrible. I know it's bad. I know it's bad stuff because I put a bit in the uh, Astro van there when the rad was leaking and oh yeah, it gums everything up, doesn't it? Might as well freaking pour a bunch of freaking uh, cement powder in there, the stuff that hardens underwater, eh? <laughs> Just let her goo right up. And uh, anyways, uh, that and they didn't have uh, the caliper, so I'm going to have, they're going to order it in, have it in by 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. He says, yeah, come on in after 8 o'clock tomorrow. I'm like, okay. Pretty quick. They're pretty quick at getting stuff, so. Uh, I guess they got it down at their uh, supplier or whatever down in uh, the city there. So they just uh, they run down like two or three times a day and pick stuff up. So it works pretty friggin' good. But that's um, okay. It's too hot today for changing that kind of crap anyway. So um, should should get it apart maybe. But uh, we'll just wait just in case you know I have to take this over to pick up the parts in the morning. So you never know, right? But uh, Jesus. Not much else going on today, you know, like, it's been a uh, pretty hot, crappy, quiet day, so, um, the, uh, you guys remember back, um, uh, when I got those new cabinets in the office there, that I had to move, uh, one of the benches out, um, they used to have, like, their services there in the back room in the wintertime, way, way back, you know, in the good old days, and, uh, they, uh, they don't uh, do that now. Everything's done through the funeral home, right? So uh, uh, they're <clears throat> where we put those benches, there's, um, oh, or uh, sorry, where we put the uh, <laughs> cabinets. <laughs> there was a, a big long bench there that, you know, the people used to sit on while the service was doing whatever, right? And they told me to get rid of her. So I'm like, okay. So yeah, just crush it all up and break it. I'm like, okay, well, I can do that. Freaking right, I can do that. So uh, that's about all that I got going on today, tubes. Like it's, it's dead, seriously. So um, anyhow, uh, just uh, jumping into the bank here and uh, uh, gotta put some money in for these freaking parts. So that's pretty freaking awesome. But uh, anyways, uh, we'll uh, head her back after and then uh, get that uh, bench out, I guess, and then. Um, just have to crush it. It's kind of a shame because it's sort of a nice bench, but it's really friggin' long. It's like at least 12 feet long. It's huge. So uh, I don't know how they and it's uh, how, how they built it, you know. But uh, holy geez, it's got some pretty good lumber in it. But it's all been painted white, eh? So if it was like natural wood, I probably would have taken it apart and kept the long bits, you know, and got rid of the legs and crap. But uh, man, I got boogers that won't leave me alone today. Apologize for that didn't need to know that I know but um, I don't know what's worse picking boogers or blowing toots all day hey eh? <laughs> but anyways uh, yeah just gonna stuff a bunch of money into the under the mattress here at the bank and uh, pff, wouldn't that be nice stuffing a bunch under stuff a stuff a bunch under and they take most of it back for themselves but anyways the way she is but uh, yeah I guess when we get back we'll uh, get the uh, oh the uh, what you call it uh, tractor out there and we'll grab that bench and uh, we'll go wreck the bench it's about all I got left for you is today so uh, yeah so let's get at her okay tube so the camera place in the mall there uh, by where I was at the bank uh, that's where I get my uh, stuff like this the tripods and crap from and I had two of them um, before, why the frick is it so dark? Anyways, I uh, had two of them, and uh, one of them, the little leg on the thingy where it pops out, screwed up. Uh, something, something fell apart. I don't know what the frick was wrong with it, but uh, uh, <clears throat> I noticed in the box when I got this one, and he's like, oh, or I said, uh, well, it's got a five-year warranty. He's like, oh yeah, five-year full replacement thingy warranty thingy, you know, or we repair it or whatever kind of thing. So I'm like, oh, that's good because I got one that's brokey. Oh, he says, really? I'm like, yeah, the leg, like, frigged up on it and stuff, and something, you know, fell out of it, and then now it won't uh, do uh, nothing but fall out. So he's like, oh, oh geez, bring, bring her back in. We'll, uh, we'll uh, you know, 
he didn't right out say replace it, but uh, more like we'll service it for you or look at it or something, or probably end up replacing it. But uh, anyways, uh, I got an narrow, narrow one here anyways, so uh, I'm just going to grab that other one and uh, take her back. So I'll take you in here and show you, because it's freaking junk. It is junk. So not much good when you're trying to move it around and the freaking thing falls out. So get this door open. You see I got one of these locks where you got to put the numbers in. So who he who oh. Who did that? Who? Oh, who? Who? Hey, who? Oh, come on. My finger don't work good. I usually use my iron one for it, so. Oh, oh, oh. not yet. Come on. There we go. Magic numbers tubes. And just to let you know, the who, he, who, ha, ha, at the back door, none of you are right on the number. Yep. None of you are right. Just saying. So, I'll get this stupid thing out of here and uh, we'll take it back to a buddy over there and uh, he can frick around with it or whatever they do over there. And uh, it's a pretty good tripod. I really liked it, but uh, the Dewey keeps falling out of the leg thing here, right? So, I'll just uh, pop the door down again. Yeah, the, uh, the door code at the back. Just to let you know, there's no three in it at all anywhere, so. No threes. But anyways, I'm just going to fold this guy up here and uh, take it back. So yeah, where we're going is, uh, oh freak, this car's parked in the way. I'll show you here in a sec too. It's not too far. I can actually like see it from my house. So it's pretty awesome. Okay. So I see the orange little mall thingy there. Top of that car and then F-stop cameras. That's where we're going. It's not too far. And there's the bank right there. You know, never, ever, ever, ever received a free sample from the bank. Cheap buggers. Oh well. Yeah, they never, never give you a free sample of a hundred dollar bill or you know nothing. So, anyways, we'll get parked in here again and uh, we'll take this uh, dry potty thing back in and uh, buddy can fix it or whatever he does. Okay, so yeah, they said uh, I'll. Uh, ship her out and uh, I guess they ship it to someone that fixes those kind of things and they tell them you know how bad I beat it up and stuff but uh, it says five year warranty doesn't say you know if you drive over with a tractor no I'm driven it over with a tractor I'm just teasing you the camera would have got her too right so but anyways uh, we're getting to get that here oh it's gonna squeak oh yeah Oh, we're gonna fix that up. So, Break, you have to come in here for boneheads. Anyways, uh, I think it's just about time for a uh, freaking ice cap. Except the one with the drive-through in town here, the Hortons doesn't uh, uh, doesn't have uh, ice caps. Apparently, their machine screwed or I don't know. But uh, oh, freaking we're going. I'm easy on that shaft. Oh, it's falling apart on me. Rocket ship! Man, these new bearings are awesome. But anyways, tubes, uh... Whoa! Uh, yeah. So, we might end up having to get, uh... One of those lemonade things instead, maybe. They're probably a little more better for you. There's no caffeine, I guess, probably in that. But, uh... Let's just go down here and we'll see. But, uh, I did, um get some of that black touch-up paint too for the car I seen there's a couple of spots that are kind of flaked off so um, I got a bit of paint for that and they mix it up there apparently so with the code and put it in an aerosol can for him like cool at the parts place right so anyways we're gonna get uh, one of these lemonades and uh, we'll head back and we'll crush the crap out of that thing
a nice sort of bench, but uh, I don't know. I got no. I got no room for it. So we're gonna rack it.
Remember tubes, not a good idea to tick off a guy with a backhoe. And even better, it's not a good idea to tick off a guy with a backhoe and a guy that knows how to use it. That'd be really cool if that was like a Toyota or something, eh? But, uh, no, nope, not today, we got an old bench. So, today they were saying this is late this afternoon, uh, which is getting about now. They uh, said some thunderstorms were going to be rolling in and stuff, and I think they're on their way. Just by looking at them clouds and stuff, I'm thinking that uh, she's going to be doing some rain in here soon, so... But, uh, you know, the ground's really dry, we could sure use some rain, but uh, not that torrential downpour crap, right? Because that's just ridiculous, so... But, uh, yeah, so what'd you think of that uh, freaking bench, eh? Oh, man, that was dry, I'll tell you. <laughs> Hardly a speck of her left now, eh? Just splintered it, that didn't even make it uh, make it work. You know, like, just just, just child's play with that thing, so... And then there's... Uh, the tree we hawked out there see she's already drying up and dying and well it's dead now but dried up and stiff so yeah there, there would have been no way that would have come back especially because of the far root away over there I had to chop off that guy there eh, well she wouldn't have made it so it's uh, kind of too bad but uh, it's the way things go you know so but uh, anyways uh, I guess we'll get going here Uh, you know, the pin will interfere and stuff because it's so much wider for that uh, thumb bracket and crap, right? So, away she goes, but, uh, well, we're down here at the garage, and uh, I'm going to park it back in front of the uh, garage here, I guess. So, yeah, if you see what I mean there, if you try to get uh, that uh, the pin down too deep there, it's a bit longer than I need it there, but... Uh, it uh, will interfere, but it doesn't do that with the 24, so I just have to not uh, have that pin and just put um, the regular pin and take this off again, right? And then uh, just use the bucket like that. But he, he's got a bit of meat stuck in his teeth there, tubes. Oh, I'm going to have to do some flossing for him, I guess. Oh, this is a big one. Oh, oh, oh. he says, oh, that feels so much better. Do some flossing here for him. There, how's that, buddy? How about the other side? How's the other side looking? Oh, there's a bit of bit of stuff in his teeth here. It's actually sort of wearing down a bit, surprisingly already. Smoothening out a bit, right? Bit of meat in that tooth. There we go. That's not too bad. But uh, yeah. So, anyways. I think that's going to be about it for today, Tubes. There's just nothing going on. So, uh, yeah, away she goes. But uh, I want to get in the garage here. i got to show you something. So, uh, vlogging life. Adam, Skaven, Mr. Ponage. Go button. Go button. Go button. Holy, three go buttons? Oh, yeah, someone was saying, too, if you just double tap the enter to close it it doesn't seem to work on this one I'll show you when we're ready to close it here it'll work now and it'll close it 
and I'll stop it and open it again, blah, blah, blah. But once it hits the top, she's like erased. So, I don't know why, because this is a, a chamber, chamber land, lane, land. And uh, so is the, the box up there. So, anyways, I got my floor nice and clean. Got it all vacuumed this morning. The freaking tractor brings in so much dirt, it's ridiculous. But, um... We took the shop back out and got her, got her all cleaned up, getting ready for uh, laying out this good stuff here and uh, get making a freaking trailer. So I wanted the floor nice and clean. I wouldn't probably eat off it, but uh, you wouldn't be far away from it. And I did a bit in here too while I was at her. It's amazing how much crap you'll drag in, eh? I guess I might as well shut this light off. Right there. And uh, yeah, so she's a little little more better. So we're gonna get at that uh, hopefully soon. I'd like to do a bit of work on on this guy first, you know, but um, get, get her all back to where she was and stuff and uh, kind of thing, you know. But uh, I don't know, I don't know. But uh, yeah, and I still got um, well, there's still a chunk of this stuff left here. Let me move this so you can see. You know, there's still like a 24 inch chunk of this one and. Uh, a whole sheet still left of that one, so I've done pretty good there. And uh, what I'm wanting to do is um, maybe build a new mailbox for up at the house. Yeah, you're gonna build a half inch freaking thick steel mailbox for your house? Freaking right I am. You know why? Because I can. <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, it's not going to be like a huge thing, like I'm not going to burn up that whole entire sheet for one mailbox, but it's going to be, uh, it be a good size, you know, and uh, I haven't quite decided on roof style yet, whether it's just going to be like a, you know, peaky roofy thing, or if I'm going to go uh, freaking uh, stupid and make something really kind of stupid, you know, but uh, I don't know, I'm kind of thinking peaky roof style would be kind of cool, but... Um, We'll have to uh, figure out something for the door because I don't think the male people will like, uh, you know, a half inch thick door to open. It's going to probably weigh about eight, ten pounds, just the door on its own. So, um, rather, whether it be like a springy mechanism thing to help relieve some of the stress like a garage door works. I don't know. I don't know. It might have to even be thinner stuff like somewhere around here. I thought I would have found it this morning. I've got a, a sheet of like... Uh, Oh, it's not super huge thick stuff, but it's just like a half sheet of stuff, but I think it's in behind all this, all the wood and uh, the stuff. I might have stuffed it in back in there, but, well, actually, I can, oh, might be in behind there. I don't know. I don't know, so, but uh, that's sort of the plan, and uh, that'll be like a little bench top projecty kind of thing right and plasma cutter nice and then uh, uh, what you call it uh, glued together with the welder and uh, and uh, make the door on it you know and uh, try to keep like a little bit of an overhang on the roof too so it doesn't uh, it doesn't uh, what you call it uh, leak get mail all wet so It'd be kind of a neat project, but uh, I don't know when I'll get to it, because the other one at the house is still fine, but I did kind of hit it with the loader one day there. <laughs> it kind of sort of bent it up, and it's a bit kibosh now, but um, anyhow, uh, I guess that's it, Tubes. Uh, pfft, there ain't not much else going on, so let's try this, uh, the double tap here, and uh, see nothing. Doesn't do anything, so... Stupid, you can set like a, uh, whatchamacallit, um, if someone's coming to do some work for you, you're not going to be here, you can put like a temporary pin in, and you can have it last for so many days or, or so many times used, but that doesn't work. I'll just hold it maybe. No, got to put the number in I guess, so. Vlog and life, Adam, Skaven, Arcane Fire and Ice, go button. See, that worked. Man, buddy, good thing you got enough channels. If you didn't have enough channels, my door wouldn't get open. But uh, I just seen the uh, the guy that uh, does the inscriptions on the stones come in, so I'm gonna have to run back and see him. Oh, the rain's starting, tubes. What'd I tell ya? 
what I tell you, I could feel it. I could feel it. So, yeah, the inscription guy just came in, but uh, likely once it starts raining, he'll be like, oh, no, I'm not working now. So, but I uh, would kind of like to show you that process. But I don't know if he's camera shy, so we'll have to go ask him. He's a pretty nice fella, so. Oh, let me shut you down here for a sec, Tubes. We'll go see him. Yeah, Tubes, we'll have to catch him another day because of the rain's on his way. I think he's gonna, I just got some to look up for him kind of thing, and then uh, he'll do them uh, next time he's, uh, next time he's down this way. He says uh, once the rain starts, you know, the stones get wet, and then he uses like a special stuff. It's sort of like the vinyl stuff, but it's like a thick rubber pad. And uh, <clears throat> he sticks that on the monument, and then cuts out the letters that he wants to sandblast out and then sandblast it out and paint it or whatever, right? But uh, he says, yeah, once the stones are kind of wet like that, you just might as well forget it because the stuff won't stick too well. So you don't want to be sandblasting something that blows half the letters off and then you got a big <laughs> on your stone, right? So we'll catch him maybe in our day when he's in. And uh, I asked him about the recording and uh, filming him. He's like, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like, well, I won't be getting you. I'll just get, you know, like, maybe your arms or something while you're setting it up and then just the blasting part, you know. We'll get way back and then uh, watch him uh, sandblast it in and then uh, peel that stuff off again and uh, hopefully you got the right dates. Because if you don't, then you're screwed because she's carved in stone then. So anyways, I gotta run inside and uh, we'll see you in a minute. Yeah, we found him some stones there and uh, he's not gonna do her today. He's, uh, He's just uh, doesn't want to get set up and it starts, you know, pouring rain on him and stuff. So, I mean, yep. Anyways, he could leave it till tomorrow, but um, you know, like put the stuff on and leave it. But he says, nah, we'll, we'll just do it later. So, not a big pressing deal. But holy frig, I left the car running while we were out there talking. It is friggin' cold in here. <laughs> holy jumping. Well, oh, it still says 18 outside, but I think it's. Uh, a little warmer than that, or the humidity is making it feel warmer, but I think it's about 8 degrees in here. Holy frig. Oh, man, but it's nice. But anyways, Tubes, uh, I guess that's going to be it today. Uh, this rain's coming in, and it's just been spitting a bit, eh? Not real yet, so, but um, we're going to shut her down for today, and, uh, and uh, get this all edited up and stuff for you, and fired up to the old YouTubes for you is and uh, drive on so we'll have to go tomorrow too uh, oh lots going on tomorrow pick up the uh, the parts and stuff for this thing and uh, gotta meet the people in the office the president and the secretary in the office tomorrow and uh, the guy I was just talking to about the, the monument stuff there he's um, got a big monument to bring it down tomorrow too to set up so I kind of want to see that but uh, I don't know if they'll let me film it or not but uh, we'll have to figure something out because it's uh, wow you guys if you if you haven't seen it before if you look back in some of the older videos there I did uh, a couple of them when they're setting them up and stuff and I think I set one up too that I fixed the base under or something but it's kind of neat you know the big truck this is apparently a big one too so it's uh, one from uh, Vietnamese uh, people, so it's going to be a, a big mother, apparently, and uh, it's got all the their uh, all their numbers and symbols and stuff on it instead of like you know stuff that I can read. So that should make it interesting when someone else dies and um, you don't know how to read the numbers and symbols and stuff. <laughs> I guess it's, that's the only one we got. That's the only one we got, right? So, but anyways, uh, yeah, we're gonna. There he goes, he's just leaving. See, compressor and everything behind him. Mobile unit, pretty awesome. He can carve the letters, he's got like a little plotter in there that'll cut that, uh, cut that stuff. My plotter will apparently cut that um, thick foamy sheet stuff. It's about as thick as this cardboard stuff here. I don't know if that worked or not, but it's, uh, you know, it's got a bit of thickness to it, eh? so the sand hits it and bounces off where you don't want it to be blasted, so. But, uh, Man, it's cold in here. <sighs> like it a lot. But anyways, Tubes, uh, yeah, we're going to freaking uh, head out. So uh, we'll talk at you later and have a good day.